All right, so let's do our final, final steps, which is uh, packaging the project. But I first also want to show you all the uh, Quixel bridge in case we wanted to add any landscaping. Usually I like to do that towards the end just in case it really affects performance. We can just not do landscaping. So um, a couple of things you might want to do. If you go to landscape mode, you can see that it now gives you a plane where we can create a landscape. And we want that plane to be a specific place. Like if I go to the front or the right view, we want it to kind of line up right with our object here, but not overlap our ground floor. And then we'll go back to perspective here. And Material wise, you can set the material to be like my uh, soil material. Hmm, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it maybe concrete for now. Create it. Okay. So that gives us a ground plane. And you can start playing with it with hovering over it and pulling it up using a brush, but you don't want to destroy your landscape. So I recommend doing it out a little bit further. And you can change the brush size and the fall off to make different type of terrain and stuff. So that's a good way to just kind of fill in your horizon. And you can do different shapes. To kind of create mountains and stuff. So that now when I play in the game, off in the distance, you've got a little bit more structure. You know, something like that. It creates different kinds of shadows and effects and stuff. All right, so that's the uh, terrain here. And now we'll go back to select mode here, back to our normal mode. And next we're gonna add um, some more content. We're gonna add stuff from Quixel Bridge. So if you go to add there and add Quixel Bridge, this should pop up. And this is going to give you all different types of materials, rocks, foliage, that kind of stuff. So if you wanted to pull in plants or whatever, um, like, let's see, if I search for cactus. Let's go to the collection here. You've got all of these different cacti. And if I wanted to incorporate a couple of them, uh, like this one here then you can go ahead and download it. And medium quality is good. And then add it to your scene. And if you're not signed in with the Quixel Bridge, you uh, will need to sign in using your un uh, Unreal Engine or Epic Games uh, username and password. And then once you do, you'll see Mega Scans here and you'll have 3D, act uh, uh, 3D objects. And then I can just find the mesh and drag and drop it into my scene. I can hit spacebar a couple of times and scale it up. And now in my scene, I have a cactus. So that's basically all there is to the Quixel bridge um, and you can do your landscaping with it. It's fantastic. Um,
Other modes here are foliage modes uh, where you can um, paint foliage uh, by adding foliage here and finding um, a foliage pack that you might have. But that's something that you probably won't mess with. I would just say use medium quality Quixel Bridge objects and um, put them in your scene sparingly. Okay, so once it's all set and done, you can go ahead and package the uh, project. And the way we package the project is pretty easy. If you just click on platforms up here, or there might be a little arrow up here that you can click on, um, and then you find your system. So I've got Windows. You, If you have a Mac, you'll see Mac as an option there. Not iOS, because that's for the iPhone, uh, but the Macintosh operating system for the computer is what you're looking for. So Windows and package project. First time you do this, it might take um, a bit more time. And then it'll give you the opportunity here to uh, find a folder to put it in. I usually title the folder packaged and uh, then select the folder and this little output log at the bottom here starts going around and around. And then that's how you know that your uh, project is being packaged. You can click on show the output log to make sure that everything is going well. Yellow is okay. Red indicates a problem. If you see a problem on any of this, you can just type, copy and paste whatever the um, error is into Google and see if you can find um, a reason for it. Okay, so I was going to go package this and I noticed that we are having a problem with the blueprint. Since I deleted the rifle, there is a reference to it and it's not letting me package. So if that's the problem, if I click on BP rifle here, it will take me to the first person map blueprint rifle. And um, we can see there's an error here, of course, but we don't really need that rifle blueprint. <laughs> So if we compile that and just deleting it, um, any of the references to it should be fine. Let's see if I hit play here, what happens? Okay, so now it works. Um, all right, so once it's packaged, um, the way you're gonna turn it in is you are gonna go to um, OBS and download OBS if you don't already have it. OBS is a screen recording program um, open broadcast software, Windows and Mac version here. Relatively easy to work with. Uh, it just records uh, a portion or your whole screen and you can use your microphone. If you have a built-in microphone to your PC, you can use that or even like a webcam microphone uh, to record uh, any sound you might want to add. So once you've got that downloaded and installed, um, now we go to where we stored our packaged project. And if you have a game controller of some sort, you can use that to make a smoother kind of walkthrough. So if I double click on this executable file, it brings me into my scene. And I'm using a game controller, so it makes it really smooth. So make about a one minute walkabout through the piece, uh, through your, your gallery. Don't make it too long. I just want to see your artwork, see the layout and the design, the lighting. And then take me out to your non-room.
And that should be about it. So you'll turn in both a zipped folder of your packaged project and also, uh, so you'll take this folder here and just right click on the folder containing everything and then compress into a zip folder or uh, do the Mac equivalent. Um, and that's what you'll title with your name and put into the packaged folder on the Workshop 3D uh, OneDrive. And then there's the video walkthrough folder as well on there. And that's where you'll turn in the video walkthrough. If you would like to, you can narrate the video walkthrough, um, kind of talking about um, the, uh, anything that you want to say about the design issues or anything like that. But if you do have sound on a motion graphic, please don't talk over that because if I do use your project as an example for next semester or in the future, I would like to remove your voiceover um, in post-processing on my end. And that will make it much easier to do so. Uh, so the uh, students who are paying attention aren't getting um, a lot of uh, uh, extraneous information from you. But please feel free to kind of narrate your process a little bit. I will then record my commentary and critique on the projects. All right, but that's it. That's it for the, the final project.